Welcome to the Vitamins and Nutrients YouTube channel. Today we are discussing magnesium. Magnesium is a chemical element with the symbol Mg and atomic number 12. It is a silvery white metal that is soft, lightweight and the eighth most abundant element in the Earth's crust. Magnesium is an important component in many materials, including alloys and compounds, and is used in various industrial and chemical applications. In addition to its industrial uses, magnesium is essential for human health and is involved in several key biological processes. It helps regulate the levels of other minerals in the body, such as calcium and potassium, and is involved in the production of energy, the formation of proteins and DNA, and muscle and nerve function. Magnesium can be obtained from food sources such as green leafy vegetables, nuts, seeds, and whole grains, and is also available as a dietary supplement. However, magnesium deficiencies are relatively common, and can lead to various health problems such as muscle weakness, fatigue, and heart problems. The recommended daily amount of magnesium for adults varies based on age and gender. The daily values, DV, for magnesium are adult men, 400 to 420 milligrams. Adult women, 310 to 320 milligrams. Pregnant women, 350 to 360 milligrams. Breastfeeding women, 310 to 320 milligrams. It is generally recommended to get most of your nutrients, including magnesium, from a balanced diet. Good dietary sources of magnesium include leafy green vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains, legumes, avocado, dark chocolate, tofu, and fatty fish. If you are concerned about your magnesium intake, it is best to consult with a doctor or registered dietitian. They can help determine your individual needs and determine if a magnesium supplement may be appropriate for you. Good sources of magnesium include leafy greens such as spinach, kale and Swiss chard, nuts and seeds such as almonds, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds, whole grains such as brown rice, whole wheat and oats, legumes such as beans, lentils and peas, avocado, dark chocolate, tofu, bananas, fatty fish such as salmon and mackerel, it's also possible to obtain magnesium from dietary supplements in the form of magnesium citrate, magnesium oxide, and magnesium hydroxide, among others. However, it's best to consult a doctor or a registered dietitian before taking any magnesium supplements to determine the right amount for you. The bioavailability of magnesium supplements varies depending on the type of magnesium salt used. Some of the more easily absorbed forms of magnesium include Magnesium citrate. This form of magnesium is well absorbed and is often used to treat constipation. Magnesium aspartate, magnesium lactate, and magnesium chloride. These forms of magnesium are also well absorbed and well tolerated. Magnesium glycinate. This form of magnesium has high bioavailability and is known to be well tolerated, making it a good choice for those with digestive issues. It is important to note that the best form of magnesium supplement for you may depend on your individual needs and health status, so it is always best to consult with a doctor or registered dietitian before starting any supplement regimen. Magnesium deficiency, also known as hypomagnesemia, can cause a variety of symptoms, including muscle weakness, cramps or tremors, fatigue and loss of energy, numbness, tingling or muscle spasms, abnormal heart rhythms, mood changes, such as anxiety and depression, poor appetite and nausea, weakness and fatigue, insomnia or other sleep disturbances, poor nail growth, high blood pressure. It's important to note that many of these symptoms are also common to other health conditions, so a proper diagnosis should be made by a doctor. In addition, a blood test is needed to accurately determine magnesium levels in the body. If left untreated, magnesium deficiency can lead to more serious health problems such as seizures and osteoporosis. Magnesium toxicity, also known as hypermagnesemia, is a condition where there is an abnormally high level of magnesium in the blood. It can be caused by taking too much magnesium from dietary supplements, laxatives, antacids or antispasmodics, or from kidney problems that impair the body's ability to eliminate excess magnesium. 
Signs of magnesium toxicity include nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal cramping, flushing, low blood pressure, confusion and disorientation, irregular heartbeat or cardiac arrest, respiratory depression, coma. If you suspect you have magnesium toxicity, it is important to seek medical attention immediately, as high levels of magnesium can be life-threatening. Here are a few additional points of note about magnesium. Magnesium plays an important role in many vital bodily functions, including regulating muscle and nerve function, supporting a healthy immune system, maintaining healthy bones, and helping the body produce energy. Magnesium can interact with certain medications, such as diuretics, antibiotics, and certain heart medications, so it's important to consult with a doctor before taking magnesium supplements if you are taking any prescription medications. Alcohol and caffeine can both interfere with the body's ability to absorb magnesium, so it's important to limit alcohol consumption and be mindful of caffeine intake if you are concerned about your magnesium levels. While it is possible to get adequate magnesium from a balanced diet, some people may benefit from taking magnesium supplements, particularly those with certain health conditions, such as Crohn's disease, celiac disease, and type 2 diabetes, which can impair the body's ability to absorb magnesium. It's important to not exceed the recommended daily amount of magnesium, as high levels of magnesium can be toxic. If you are taking magnesium supplements, it's important to follow the label instructions and consult with a doctor or registered dietitian. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.